Biggity wiggity. Welcome back to the biggity 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 show. It's the coach's soapbox, News Talk 920, KPSI. It's great to be with you today. Thank you for joining us. Always a pleasure to be here. I want to address a couple of things that uh, happened today. One, I want to address uh, uh, the situation on the LPGA Tour. Uh, and it has to do with, uh, with Dottie Pepper. Uh, Dottie Pepper, of course, was a fabulous player on the PGA Tour. Make no mistake about it. A champion golfer. But uh, Dottie Pepper was about as rude and as obnoxious and as egomaniacal as a player could be. And in my opinion, and I saw with my, it's not just my opinion, it's a fact. I, I saw it with my own two eyes, believe me. Uh, had very little regard for uh, volunteers, for example, the people that, who make these tournaments happen. Uh, she treated them horribly, uh, and, and I was one that she treated horribly. Now, you know, it's one thing when your uh, arrogance is an interesting thing. When you are on top of the world, arrogance is, is accepted. Uh, and when uh, you're not on top of the world, it's not accepted. And memories run a long time. And, of course, famously, she was caught uh, on her microphone talking about the American team at the Solheim Cup and labeling them as choking freaking dogs, if I'm not mistaken. Now, we have Dottie Pepper. Sorry for that. To the point where on the golf channel she's in tears nobody likes me anymore why doesn't anybody like me i want to be part of this i'm a champion i should be part of it she was uh, upset when meg ballon was chosen to be the uh, solheim cup captain and not her well part of the reason is the way that she treated people all those years people don't forget that but i give meg ballon a lot of credit she has selected dotty pepper to be the assistant uh, captain to her for the Solheim Cup. And again today with the tears, with Dottie. This is a lesson. It's a lesson in that for all of us. No matter what you do. Your mother probably told you this when you were young. Be nice to the people on the way up because you're probably going to bump into them on the way down. So I give Meg Mallon a lot of credit and I hope uh, that maybe Dottie has learned a lesson a valuable lesson in the way that you treat people. I, you know, I don't care how you treat uh, the big shots. I, I, what I watch is how do you treat, uh, how do you treat the, uh, uh, the scorer that's walking with you? How do you treat the official starter, for example, of the uh, tournament? How do you treat the bartenders? How do you treat the bag uh, guys? How do you treat the, the uh, parking lot guys? That's what's important to me, in my opinion. And so uh, I say congratulations, Meg Mallon, and let's hope maybe that uh, Dottie has learned a very valuable lesson. It's the Coach's Soapbox right here on News Talk 920, KPSI.